First full day in Sydney. We're just heading to get some breakfast at this pancake restaurant now. Let's see what it's like. Let's check it out. And it's raining as well. I don't know if you can tell, but yeah, it's raining. Then. So, just had breakfast, lunch, aka brunch, at Pancakes on the Rocks, and um, Three quarters of a mile. Turn right to merge on turn five towards airport. Very stereotypical, um, sort of American style. It's basically like IHOP, wasn't it? It's very similar to IHOP. Um, so always good. Uh, Pancakes were nice, but they were very sickly. Just the butter and the syrup and all that. Um, but yeah, nice all the same. I'm sure we'll probably pop there again sometime. Uh, but right now we're gonna head to the Royal Botanic Gardens. And it's saying 40 minutes to get there and it's 14 miles away, so I'm pretty sure it's... Pretty sure it's near the center of Sydney. Um, so probably will experience a great deal of traffic, so yeah, that'll be fun. Okay, so right now we are at the Royal Botanic Gardens in Sydney and uh, a little experience of driving through Sydney we had to go through a few very large tunnels there was like a tunnel that was like two miles long uh, so that was strange and and then and then that's it, and now we're here. So, yeah, we're at the Royal Botanic Garden in Sydney. So we're on the map. And, uh, yeah, just packed up and we're gonna go check it out. Probably get bitten about a dozen times. Oh, so that, that'd be I fun. can't deal with any more mosquito bites. Well, infected. you shouldn't have wore shorts then. You wore shorts as well. Yeah, but you know, I don't get bit. You did. Just that mine yeah, got infected. Infected. Right, let's go. Let's get Gannon. Oh, baby. 
Okay, so we've got done at the Botanic Gardens. Um, we didn't walk around the whole lot, did we? No, because you were sat chatting about man well, for 20 minutes, half an hour. Probably longer. Um, so, yeah, so we walked down to the waterfront, saw the uh, Opera House, and there's a bridge behind it. It's quite a nice setting. And then I got some drone footage. And then this Asian man, uh, came up to me and obviously he couldn't speak a word of English but he want, he essentially wanted uh, me to send him a photo of the um, opera house and you know we tried to he was just trying you know it's like can you send it via ble blue teeth because he man he had managed to put a you know um, what's it called translator yeah, translator on his phone and he said, can I send it via Bluetooth? And I don't know how to do that on an iPhone, because let's be honest, who, who uses Bluetooth to send pictures nowadays? Um, so yeah, so I tried to do it by email and all that, and I was actually just trying for about half an hour. We only had an hour in the car park, so, yeah, that basically took up all our time. But we saw, you know, a wedding, well, it was kind of a post-wedding, weren't it? So after yeah. the wedding, they was taking photos and all that. Uh, but we'll likely go back there um, later on on our time in Sydney uh, because we're going to the Moonlight Cinema that we went to in Melbourne and um, it's a film we want to watch called Blockers it's got John Cena and all that and all them and uh, it looks pretty funny so we'll probably go back and watch that because that was one of my highlights of Melbourne to be honest it was really good, I quite liked it. Um, but now we're going to get a drink, hopefully, because I'm very thirsty. And then we're going to go to the Harbour Bridge and um, yeah, go from there. Okay, so we're driving over the Harbour Bridge, which is not what we wanted to do. The traffic was like really bad uh, in downtown Sydney, I guess it was. It's like a financial district. And the sat nav didn't know where we was really. He kept sort of spinning around in a circle. So I was just about to follow the road and it just took us onto the Harbour Bridge. And to get back to where we wanted to go, it would have it's going to take like an hour because we have to go around the whole of Sydney. So I think we're just going to um, stop off on this side of the bridge when we get over and then just walk over to the other side and then walk wherever we need to go. Still ain't had a drink yet either, so I need to get one of them. over the Sydney Harbour Bridge, what we just drove over. Uh, but the plan is we're going to walk over, maybe get something to eat, look around and then walk back. Uh, because we only have like two hours car parking. But uh, the only thing is, the disadvantage of walking over is that we have this like metal railing. Um, it goes all the way along the bridge, so it's pretty hard to get good photos and all that. So we'll have to try and make it do and um, just Take it in through our eyes, not through the lens.
come on then. Okay, so just had dinner at this uh, nice little Italian restaurant, and it, it was it was very little. It was cramped in there, wasn't it? It was it was like everyone was standing on top of each other. But at the end of the day, if the food's good, then you don't you don't mind. The food was pretty good. What do you have? Lasagna. Your lasagna, your favourite. I had a kind of like a meaty pizza, and uh, that tasted pretty good. Uh, now we're walking back over the uh, Sydney Harbour Bridge and it should be quite nice now because it's, as you can see it's getting dark so it'll be nice to see like everything just lit up uh, but we've got to walk very, walk, we've got to walk very briskly because the um, the car park time runs at 8 o'clock and we have 13 minutes to get across the bridge down the steps into the car so yeah that's going to be fun the state championship but looking at the way this guy's been playing in his last few games I don't see how he's ranked amongst them This is actually a watermelon, I think. Okie dokie, so we got done at Woolworths, bought some essentials like, um, you know, water, uh, monsters for the gym, some fruit, uh, yogurts, uh, oats, because we don't have a breakfast included at our hotel again. Um, well, obviously we knew that when we walked it, but um, yeah, so we just got breakfast taken care of saves you know going out spending like an hour eating and you know obviously it costs a lot more to eat out as well so um you know it's, it's that taken care of and uh, some protein bags some things like that but i actually just noticed that i haven't eaten a whole lot today i've only had um that breakfast which was like pancakes bacon hash browns and then that pizza so yeah i haven't eaten a whole lot today haven't eaten much protein so I'm going to try and go out now and try and get a fairly decent high calorie, high protein meal. Most likely it's just going to be like burger and fries or something, but as, as, as long as I can get some protein and, um, and then if I can have like a protein bar or something when I get back, I'll probably do that. But um, yeah, let's see where we end up. Okay, so we are back from getting some food. Um, probably actually got the most... Uh, healthiest meal there is to be fair so this is what I've got so we have a uh, grilled chicken sandwich and the uh, the grilled chickens actually um, coated in whole wheat flour then cooked in Sunflower oil, yeah, it's just a it's just a chicken royale. Um, nuggets, fries, chicken fries, which I'm excited to try because I've never actually tried them before. And then, like I said, got a couple of protein bars if I need them. Okay, so we're gonna. I'm tired. Okay, so we're gonna. <laughs> okay, so we're going. Okay, so we're going to be going to bed soon. Uh, pretty tired. Got a long day tomorrow. Okay, so we're going to be going to bed soon. Pretty tired. I'm going to end this video here. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Please give it a like. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace!